After the break, South African-born comedian Kevin and beautiful radio announcer Caitlin are back from their date at a wildlife park in Canberra. And no, I'm not talking about Parliament House. This was quite possibly the most frightening experience of my life. You have to protect me a bit. Like, come on, like... I like this. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Blind Date. Kevin is a South African-born stand-up comedian and when we last saw him on the show, he chose as his blind date the gorgeous Caitlin. Kevin, please meet... Caitlin from Glen Iris in Melbourne. Wow. Nice <laughs> they met, they dated and now they're back. Please welcome Kevin and Caitlin. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey. Good to see you. Gosh, welcome back to the show. Hi, you both thanks. well? Yeah, really good. Yeah. What about that? So I... That was a bit excessive. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it was a super fun date. We felt there was chemistry from early in the piece. Yeah, definitely, definitely say yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, things happen. Why don't we have a little look at what happened? Sounds good. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Better be the good bits. <laughs> <laughs> When that screen went back and I was met with this gorgeous blonde, I think there was instant attraction there. Apparently they call it chemistry. <laughs> when that wall went back, I could sense already that we were gonna be a good match. I just got that instant connection with him that we were both on the same wavelength. Ready to get wild? Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> When I saw her outside the lodge, I thought she was even more beautiful than when I saw her in studio. <sighs> <laughs> should Seriously. Have, should have worn my stilettos. All right. <laughs> when we arrived at the Red Panda, um, I just knew straight away I was completely inappropriately dressed. I need to, like, rethink the wardrobe. I am not dressed appropriately. Caitlin was sort of dressed for the club, I reckon, but... <laughs> <laughs> she looks good in heels, so... <laughs> Winner. Oh, no. Oh, nice. oh, my God. Easy target. <laughs> You are so, like, comfortable and confident. <laughs> this was possibly, quite possibly, the most frightening experience of my life. You have to protect me a bit. Like, come on, like... I like this. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I felt very safe with him. Yeah, I was really surprised how cool, calm and collected he was. God, I thought I was really brave, but... <laughs> I kind of used that as a moment to, like, protect her. And <laughs> for me, it was like she felt comfortable. Oh, whoa. Oh. When the snakes came out, the party got started. I am African, but this is the one thing that does freak me out. I was like, is this fear factor or are we on a date here? <laughs> like, come on, man. There are pythons around me. If you can deal with this, I, um, I'll be impressed. <laughs> I think the funniest moment is when the anaconda went for his anaconda. That snake's going into uncharted waters. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally going for the navel. <laughs> you're, you're putting him there. You're like, you're like sending him there. We'd just be having casual banter and then like she'd drop in some sass. I want to feel that snake. Yeah. It's like... She's funnier than I thought, that's for sure. Hey. Nice to see you. And it was dinner time, which we we're both so looking forward to. Oh, thanks. Mm. And she ate some of my muscles. She loved my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like a big mouthful, right? Oh, Don't touch that yeah. first. This first. The oh, I'm so busy. Like putting your fork in me there. Mm. It's really cheesy, but we fed each other because it was just fun. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Going for it. That's actually really good. I hope I didn't look like a pig on the date. I hope I wasn't like little Miss Piggy. Oh, I'm getting a little full, but I still want dessert. Are you a sweet tooth? Totally. Really? So am I. It's a whole experience. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised with who I've been matched with. He's a really cool guy. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> kind of getting towards the end of the evening and decided to take a little stroll. And then I, I made the move. <laughs> Ridiculous, cool. really. We're not 16. <laughs> it's getting emotional. I think there's definitely, definitely something there. It's kind of like a watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> this is so 
uh, feeling very positive. <laughs> Was the night as glorious as it looked there? Fantastic. He's a good kisser too. You're a real gentleman. Like, oh, yeah, it's a very gentle. That's touch. the first time I heard that. How do you feel about the relationship now after seeing that? Well, it's definitely interesting to watch back on it, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's only so much you can get to know each other in the, in the amount of time that we had. So. Yeah. We sort of um, agreed to tee up a few days ago, flew into Melbourne, and we yeah we went out for a couple of drinks and just got to know each other. As in a, couple a few days more. ago, yeah, now. I was so flattered. He messaged me and said I'd l I'd really like to come to Melbourne to see you with the cameras off, so we can actually get to know each other. I didn't think it was going to happen, and then yeah, he actually came to Melbourne and we went out for a few drinks, and yeah, yeah. that's a very gentlemanly thing to do. Yeah, I wanted to, and um, it sounds like things are starting to blossom a little bit. Let's not jump the gun, Julia. Flying into Melbourne's jumping the gun, mate. You know what I'm saying? That's a pretty big move. Shot myself in the foot there, didn't I? <laughs> I did some social media stalking and I was so surprised. Sorry, I'm not a freak. It's not. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I was so surprised to see this She's gonna am leave. <laughs> amazing other side to him, which was so comical, so funny, so smart. It was a mm. bit of a turn on. I was like, oh, <laughs> like this guy's more than meets the eye. Yeah. What do no. you like about Caitlin? She was never once on the phone or like other in another place in her mind. She was always like present and just engaged in the conversation. That was just a huge tick oh, it's for me. so important. And then just really fun, yeah. A sense of humor came out, especially by the time we got to those uh, anacondas. Um, <laughs> I was uh, surprised the python came out so early. In the <laughs> <laughs> Were you excited about seeing each other today or have you, did you come together from Melbourne? Well. <laughs> We came together from Yeah, Melbourne. we did. We came together from <laughs> Melbourne, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I can see a real future with you guys. Really? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Jules. Are we deeming this as a Bubbles moment? <laughs> now, don't judge me. It'll be a, as fresh as you like. I just like to do it the French way. I'm going to put it right up to my microphones. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. It was very lady huh? I know that I will have a very big head on that, so that's Thank unfortunate, you. but <laughs> obviously I'm... <laughs> one for you there, Kevin, grab Thank that you one. Very much, dude. You guys uh, really did everything that we dream that this show will do, <laughs> and no pressure. <laughs> I've got amazing shoes for the wedding, so <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back on the show. We're sort of filled with the joy of Cupid's arrow. We might have actually hit the target. Let's put our hands together. <laughs> Gavin and Caitlin. Thank you. Oh my God.